So about a week ago, startup and hometown cha-cha-cha actor Kim Sono found himself in hot water after it was reported that his ex-girlfriend was coerced into having an abortion in an attempt to protect his fame and reputation. Immediately, Kim Sono was dropped by all of his sponsorships, films, and TV shows, effectively destroying his resume and reputation in the matter of two days. The Korean general public and the internet were up in arms, surprisingly defending Kim Sono, with the most common response being, we don't know the whole truth of the story, and this is a private matter, and it should only concern the parties involved, not the public. It was recently revealed that Kim Sono's ex, according to reports, is a 37-year-old KBS weather reporter named Che Young-ha. And check this out, Dispatch, you know, the Korean tabloid that usually uses the power to destroy people's reputation and cause drama, actually published a piece defending Kim Sono and his innocence. <laughs> this is like the dispatch redemption arc. In a text to a friend, Kim Sono's text message read, Yesterday at dawn, she got caught lying. In the past, I told her I would only let her pass once, but she got caught going to a location where there were men and pretending she didn't go. The problem is that when I told her, she thought I was talking about someone else, and she mentioned a different time when she had met another man. So, According to reports, it seemed that the ex was caught cheating multiple times, yet Kim Sono continued to forgive her. And contrary to what Chess said, Kim Sono actually took care of her after the abortion. For two weeks, he sat by her side, feeding her seaweed soup and making sure that she was well. Like a switch, public opinion on Kim Sono flipped. Netizens were saying, So the truth was uncovered. The people who cut Kim Sono from advertisements and spread false articles just after listening to one side should apologize. He really loved her. This is so sad. I think Kim Sono is amazing if he stayed silent without explaining all this. It seemed that she slept with different men, but then chose the most naive and kind one who would believe that the baby was his. I can't believe he accepted her and loved her for real. All right, now check this out. This is where the real kicker comes in. Che young ex-husband spoke up about the situation. The ex-husband and Che were only married for 17 days, after which the ex-husband decided to file for divorce. He talked about how while they were going through the divorce, the ex-husband left Che with their house and he would go and sleep somewhere else. The ex-husband found some pretty interesting evidence in CCTV footage of his house. He states it wasn't even a month but within three weeks, she brought three men to the house. Three different men. And she would do it on the sofa. He continued by saying, After all that, she came to the court saying that she doesn't want a divorce. So I showed the judge that tape, and he judged that we can get a divorce. Netizens responded by saying, I heard the ex-husband's voice recording, and that woman is a mess. I never felt this bad for someone in the entertainment industry. Another stating if... She was promiscuous enough to sleep with three different guys within three weeks, then she must have met other guys while dating Kim Sono. How can she be sure Kim Sono is the father? That's a good point. Now, it's pretty obvious. This girl is, well, dealing with some issues. Does this change your opinion of Kim Sono? Should Kim Sono get his sponsorships, movie deals, and TV deals back? So with all of this apparent unfair treatment of Kim Sono, how does that make you feel? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.